Hello everyone, welcome. We're gonna watch the future game show because chat wants me to. Uh, I'm not expecting a single thing of value from this, like but away we go. Up. You want a credit card? So why pay We've any got way. one for pay you. With mana. Pay with power. Mana. Game the system. Anyone got a mana credit card? You got to pump it up. You got to hold it up. You got to pump it up. Is that Jesus? Why does it look like shit? Oh, it's powered by credit cards. Hey, everybody. I'm Christopher Judge. It's Jesus. So you may know me best as the man of myth. He's gonna say it. That a boy. He's gonna say it. God Slayer. Kratos! From Sony Santa Monica's God he of War series. You didn't know my voice was actually this deep, did you? Usually that costs extra. Tonight, I'm swapping the axe for a humble microphone because we've got a ton Fuck, of exciting video game sexy. trailers to get through. But, like all good adventures, this one requires teamwork. In fact, I'm calling on another mighty god's power to help me out. Oh, Danielle? Danielle? Daniel! Are you with me? I've always been with you, Christopher. I hate this shit, so man. Fuck, every you. time they get these fucking... And for all the folks at home, my name is cool. Daniel okay, I'm, I'm... I voiced the Witch of the Woods, <sighs> a.k.a. the leader cool. of the Vanir, cool. a.k.a. the Valkyrie Queen known as the Norse Goddess Freya in God of War. And I don't need Freya's foresight to know that this event is staffed with some serious amazing news. That is quite right. That's because this is the feature game show, powered by Mana. A digital showcase event streamed live across the nine realms. But also and exclusively, planet Earth. Tonight we'll be treating you oh, to over really? an hour of exclusive trailers for upcoming video games. Earth? You'll be able to find and wishlist all of the games from today's show on the Feature Game Show Steam page. And you can head on over to GamesRadar.com to read all about them. Well, my darling, that was quite the intro, but we best get going. Thimble Winter doesn't last forever, and we've got all that unfinished business to attend to. Are they in the same room? So let's kick things off with our very first world premiere. Chat, I'm done. The whole the, I, the world that world premiere bullshit. Experiencing deja vu, a strange it's fucking phenomenon dumb. Occurs. Just show the video. Don't do some stupid Dude, voiceover. Are you awake? Come on, man. We really need to talk. We just had a meeting here at Naraxis. It's really bad, man. Whoa. The Hippocampus oh, shit, we did is drugs. an old cortical area involved in multiple aspects of memory formation. Bridging our past with our present experiences enables it to construct our autobiography. We got drugs, Chad. There's a huge flaw. They kept it a secret for years. Latest research shows that by changing our brain waves in the hippocampal region, deja vu creates a brief gateway to a parallel world. Call me as soon as possible. You know, I always thought that clothing store was fucked up. You know? The Gap always gave me weird vibes. Well, you know, in my experience, it's easier to salvage your memories when they've the been... The commercials were like too walls. peppy. Well, not all of us have it, such It was like a mythology. fucking cult, is what it really was. The Gap is coming soon to PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S. Players of our next game a cult might think where everyone's like kind of dance or kind of uh, dressed but the team behind aliens like a Fire white middle-aged man have a few more that's just like the, the fashion they sell is like white middle-aged them this joke's kind of long enough i'm gonna read an email while this uh trailer i don't care about please
the mutated gameplay of Aliens Fireteam Elite Pathogen comes to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on August 30th. Now we've got a developer presentation from our friends at Digital Cyber Cherries, the team behind Hypercharge Unboxed. You know, the toy box shooter that went viral on Twitter. Xbox players, we're looking for small soldiers. Dive what? into the toy field and fight waves of classic yeah, this thing toys. Went, uh, viral. Your mission is to defend the hypercore, collect action figures, and defeat yeah, major viral, evil. Yeah. As the uh, professor or of all the things the video game, and dozens viral. of more classic toys, it went viral. Everyone is talking soldier, about it. The fate of toy kind is in your plastic hands. That's a nuke. What are you waiting for, recruit? How come they always have that a disembodied voice sounds vaguely familiar? Hypercharge Unboxed is out now on PC oh, is that and Mirror Switch, or whatever? with an Xbox and PlayStation release coming soon. Mi What's now, it? here comes another What's shiny world mirror? mirror for all you super sleuths out there. My mirror? My mirror. Sure. Oh, it's a Luca, Lucas Pope game. That was me. Post Twitch. I need a soundbite of Zeke's world premiere. No! We don't! People love it, then go watch his stream. That was weird. Oh, demo's live now. Murderous Mad Libs with a Midas touch. The case of the Golden Idol is coming to PC in 2022, and we're pleased to what announce this the demo face? is going live cool. right now on Steam. No snacks, fridge empty. It's time to answer the call of the trash can. Is that in the script, or are you just thinking out loud, Danielle? Oh no, it's actually the premise of our next game. This is cat game too, yeah. Got a better name than Stray. I'll give it that. Stinky, sly, and always looking for their next meal. Raccoon's is Sly a Cooper like a raccoon? Snackoon is coming soon. Now, you might want to dim the lights as it's time to soak in the dark atmosphere of Tainted Grail, the fall of Avalon. Oh, I thought this was uh, Danzig again. Is 
Is this another rhythm game? This is a I think this is a rhythm game. Chat's going with card game. <laughs> this looks fucking awful. You're awake. Good. Is this made in Skyrim? Fire burning. Would have been ashamed to freeze to death when we got so far. I think this was made in Skyrim. Guys, this was made in Skyrim. What the fuck? Is that tree clipping through the bridge? found him, or what was left of him, a mile down the road. Dude, the that must be some strong wind. merged him with his it. horse. A horrible way to die, don't you think? Into Grails, a Kickstarter board game from Awaken Realms, and they do this, I don't know why they decide to make a game too. Oh. Tainted Grail. The fall of Avalon is coming to Steam early access in Q4 2022. Is that her real voice? Is she doing a voice right now? Our or is next that a real game voice? is steeped in secrecy, which means we can all experience this reveal together. I, I can't tell if that's. It's hard to say when we pass the point of no return, but we did. <laughs> we made our world uninhabitable oh, because fuck, for the smartest depressing. animal on the planet, humans can be really stupid. <laughs> Civilization started to creak at the seams. <laughs> and if there's one emotion greater than greed in humans, it's fear. <laughs> Perhaps it came too late. This guy's really upset but about Path of Exile being And shit when we this are league. afraid, he we just get took it a different direction than everyone else, instinct. you know. Survival. <laughs> we need land. We need food and shelter. But in the end, <laughs> what the fuck? We need each other. We need communities. We need I cooperation. We need to build something together. Will it be something that won't collapse this time around? Will we ever stop being afraid? <laughs> well, maybe you'll what? be the one to unite humanity. Bro, the and fucking shape death the society need a of tomorrow. Like, go get help. Don't make a video game. Holy shit. That was fucking crazy. Well, let's pray there are no world serpents in the water. Battles at go. the ready, yeah. because Floodland is coming soon. World serpents, gotta work. Comes out From this one November, dark world to another, it's time to catch up with this game actually looks good. the developers behind the last case of Benedict Fox, yeah, the a last spooky game, that's exactly Lovecraftian right. Metroidvania. The last game didn't even look bad. The trailer was just like unbelievably over-the-top dramatic. Also, we're all gonna die. When the sun gets too hot, humanity's gonna end, and we're all just gonna have a heat death, and uh, uh, make sure you have a will. Hi, I'm Barton, creative director on The Last Case of Benedict Fox, a fantastical Lovecraftian Metroidvania in which you dive into a twisted world of secret organizations, forbidden rituals, and cold-blooded murders. It's in a lot more combat this time around. Fuck, this Your looks so cool. Your aim is to uncover the secrets of the mansion and the murders that happen within these walls. But to find out what truly happened, you will need to dive deep into the memories of the victims and visit an alternative reality we call Limbo. You see, those two worlds, they're linked with each other. Dimension secrets will help you out in Limbo, while what you find in Limbo will help you unlock the mysteries of Dimension. I got a bad feeling about this. 
My, my. A real golem. Very difficult to pull off. And very illegal to even try. In our studio, we love Metroidvanias. We love how they reveal to you their world one step at a time. Does we want the game to take slow that down feeling like that, and combine it with a great story. A mystery that also reveals its secrets to you the deeper you dive in. It reminds him of someone silly and naive. It's annoyingly warm. To survive whatever the limbo throws at you, you can always visit our friend Harry Houdini to purchase some useful items. You can also use the demon thing you collect at the Tattooist to unlock new skills. Right now we can only afford the slam, which is still a very useful skill to have. Let's absorb it. Ow! Jesus, Ow! tattoos are crazy. Ah! I'm never getting one. That was the slam skill that we just acquired. What did you think? And that's Harry Houdini's lockpick in action. What the fuck? Resentment and fear. He survived her abuse and wears it like a badge of honor. You may feel powerful now, but remember, you're not the only one who can descend into limbo. That fucking song is just in my head, man. Jesus, can't get it out. I'll take the boy over a demon companion any day. The last case of Benedict Gotta Fox worry, is coming to PC and Xbox ago, in spring 2023. I, I, was I would also classify Kratos. our next game as a psychological thriller where you try desperately to maintain order while at the whim of a tricksy, malevolent beast. I thought this one was a cozy condo-esque puzzler. It's up for interpretation. Yes! Lucas! I found it! Oh, hey, nice one, Annie. Hmm, this doesn't look quite right. Let me show you our game while we sort this out. We are Max Inferno, and we're making a game called A Little to the Left. It's a cozy puzzle game where you sort, Fucking liberal stack, agenda and tidy bullshit. up the house. In each level, puzzles are hidden among household objects. That's gonna land with some people, and, and other people are gonna be real crazy in, in the a very comments. Particular way. Many of the levels have multiple solutions. Like this one, you can solve three different ways. <laughs> oh yeah, there's also this cat that will show up and make a mess of your tidy work. I think we almost got this sorted. Oh, hey! I think we have, haven't we seen we cat ass? We inspiration from our cat. I think we have seen this trailer, right? And we looked to the items and objects in our own home. Are those nest games? Did they play unpacking and then just make one of those? Ah, yes, now that's what we were looking for. A little to the left, coming to PC and Mac on November 8th. We're thrilled to announce that A Little to the Left is coming to PC on November 8th, 2022. Okay, it's been fun seeing all these cool games coming soon, but I figured we could use a quick break. A change of scenery, perhaps? You gonna talk to you us about a credit card? Mind. What were you thinking? What if I told you that there was actually a hidden 10th realm, one drenched in neon light? Got a war Plus, the way it we don't even need the Bifrost to get there. I've been to many lands, but none with this much We're going to show some uh, Steam code Indeed. soon, chat. Get this ready. This nifty little realm is the virtual show floor. Every booth you can see has a game attached with a demo dropping after the show. For those at home, which means all of you, Google Future Games Show Steam, and you can download and try out any of the games that catch your eye. 
All right. With that in mind, let's get started with our first game. This is Fairy Afterlight, a stylus Metroidvania inspired by Indonesian philosophy. Players will control Kimo Indonesian and Wispy, philosophy, a literally what? inseparable duo, as they explore the world what of even Indonesia, is Indonesian working together philosophy? to like solve what? puzzles and defeat fearsome enemies. Spiders. No, I'm, I'm never going to Indonesia. All of a sudden. What's next, Danielle? That's their Always philosophy. a good father. <laughs> Lovers of strategy and bootleg booze rejoice as this game covers both in equal measure. Moonshine Inc. is a management sim where players battle it out to brew the best hooch in town. Players will expand their facilities and perfect hooch. the making of Mountain Mash while evading the Who panoptical the eye of Johnny Law. With genuine baby. fermentation processes recreated virtually, Who this sim is as real as it gets. Just make sure you don't get caught. And now for something completely different. Yes, because we're jumping from moonshine making Anyone to remember a that song? Am I just metropolis. Crazy? It's time to fear the new blood as our attention turns to Gloomwood, a grim dark ode to the immersive sims and survival horror greats of the late 90s and early noughties. Players will use early all Victorian era instruments <laughs> to improvise, what did you adapt, say, and Judge? overcome a town teeming with mischievous mobs. Don't call it the naughties. So I don't like that. For? Grab what you can see and get to it. Our next game also involves plenty of improvisation, just with a little bit less focus on monster slang. Care to do the honors? Yeah, naughties is the of worst course, word ever. I agree. This is the wandering. Village, oh, I actually like this a game. sandbox city builder the set that on art? the back of a gigantic wandering creature called Anbu. In my experience, living with a giant tortoise wasn't so bad, but. Results All right, I think I'm back on board with Here that Here players will battle the elements and research technologies in an effort to revive a long-lost society. Will you settle and survive in this harsh, humbling environment by learning to bond with the beast? That looks pretty or cool. Or choose to be a parasite, leeching from its life force? The choice is yours. <laughs> Where are we off to next? This game is bound to strike a chord. Well, maybe a few. Demonic musicians gather their cards in power chord. A roguelike deck builder from Big Blue Bubble. Equip gear and create combos to strum and roar your way through a monster-filled battle of the bands held in grungy grottos and hellish hole-in-the-walls. Monsters come in all shapes and forms, from demons to dentists, or at least they do in our next game, Never Awake. This is a twin stick shooter set in the mind of a it, little. It looks all right, Chad. It's like twin stick. Players will battle. What is this guy doing? Join my fucking hideout. Vivid up. nightmares, each one brimming with creepy manifestations of everything from vegetables to dogs and yes, even school friends. Dirty chaos. <laughs> its charming art style will have you questioning whether it's creepy, cute, or a great mix of both. You didn't miss anything. Well, if you'd rather wield fear as a weapon than fight against it then this next one is for you. The Fabulous Fear Machine is a pulp horror strategic simulation game where players will generate terror and expand their influence through the spread of scary stories and creepy conspiracies. From Bloody Mary to reptilian overlords, let the unexplained mythos of the public consciousness become your ammunition. What have you got for me, Danielle? I think the question is, what haven't I got? Anno Mutationum is a sleek cyberpunk RPG that blends 2D and 3D graphics to create a rich world that you'll just want to dive into. When you're not bartending or dog-sitting a cyborg corgi, you'll be slashing your way through cybernetic monsters and pursuing criminals in the underbelly of this atmospheric, vibrant neon metropolis. Our next game will teach cool. you to never underestimate a hero no matter their size. Misk, a tiny tail, follows Buddy and Bag Boy, adorable makeshift robots working their way through peaceful landscapes to help out their friends and unravel the history of this strange world. Dress up and clean up as you get to know these little parts with big hearts. Just try not to screw up your jumps in the demo. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see what those little guys get up to. But alas, it's time to get back on the Rainbow Bridge because that marks the end of our trip to the Virtual Show I never thought I would say this, floor. but I hate Remember, this voiceover. Remember, folks, 
You can head to the Future I don't like Games the Show for Steam page to check out free demos for all of our featured games. Like the announcers are just Good reading a script, which is fine, for... but don't forget to try those games. It's after so the like show. punny. Now, it's not often that you get a threequel, you know. It's not often that a game skips straight to third entry either. But here we are. Fair point. It might be too early to call it the greatest of all time, but for me, this is definitely the GOAT. Like... I, I'm trying to figure out... I mean, I think this is true. I think I am just being a hater today. I've got a hater mentality. But, man, I don't like that. Hello, my name is Victor. And I'm a game designer at Coffee Stain. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. We are developing Goat Simulator 3. Press Y on that lady. Which is the second installment oh. of the Goat Simulator series. Goat Simulator 3 it's is set on the beautiful island of San Angora. <clears throat> Here, you can explore the local sites. What do you... Uh, give me an example. The unexpected. Like a Jeff Keighley Uncover show? Uncover the mysteries of a long-forgotten goat order. Or just destroy everything. Oh, you mean like a past. cock media show? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better than that. With over sure. 350 different goat gears, you will have a bunch of ways of expressing yourself as a goat. <laughs> Gear parts will make you look fabulous, but can also give you abilities. And you can combine them endlessly. Find them while exploring the island. Or earn them by simply being a goat. In Goat Simulator 3, you can discover San Agora together with up to three up, friends. You, you can either play online or couch co-op. Everything you do in single player, you can do in multiplayer as well. Together, you can wreak havoc in San Angora without any restrictions. If you're feeling competitive, put your skills to the test and challenge your friends in one of the seven different minigames. Minigames can be played either at a specific location for a tailored experience or played anywhere you want. You can play a round of car derby on a nice open field. Or maybe on a less optimal spot on the island. You'll be able to get your hands on Goat Simulator 3 on November 17th. But you can pre-order the game today to receive this wonderful other gear part. That's like no satyr I've slain. I mean, seen. Goat Simulator 3 is coming soon. Now it's time to check out a new trailer for The Chance. I don't Chance, think he was saying pre A survival guys. game set on a remote his, island uh, in the wake of a ritual gone wrong. Pillows at the ready. What? Oh, this is the Jesus game. Hi, my name is Mike Scupa. We are Brass Token, and our studio mission is Bro, to you tell gotta thrilling get that stories through giant inventive game mechanics. Thing out. The Chant yeah. is a third-person horror action-adventure game set at a remote island spiritual retreat. After a group ritual goes oh, wrong, said utter? your spiritual oh. awakening soon becomes a fight for survival. As Glory Island fills with cosmic dread, you will encounter an array of prismatic creatures and cultists released from the gloom. Choose your fights carefully and battle using spiritual weapons and abilities. Collect, craft, and manage your resources, as each encounter could be a decision between fight or flight. Mind, body, and spirit are the three stats that drive survival, upgrades, and the ending you receive. Balance is everything. Welcome to your spiritual nightmare. Thanks, man. I'm glad to be here. The chant is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox in 2022. All right. It's time to learn more about Araban Shadow Legacy, which was revealed during the Xbox and Bethesda showcase earlier this year. Yeah. 
Helios. They search for someone who does not exist. The Shadow. Hi everyone, I'm Alex, one of the founders and game designer from Baby Robot Games. We are really excited to be here today with you at the Future Game Show. Right now, and in partnership with Raw Fury, we are I working like on our debut game, Erevan Shadow beard. Legacy, a fast-paced stealth platform well set in a sci-fi and morally you know? grey universe. In Erevan, you will play Ayana, I the like last descendant of a forgotten race with the ability of merging with the shadows and moving freely through them. Your mission? To infiltrate and confront the cryptic megacorporation Helios, investigate what they are hiding and their relation with the disappearance of your people. You may have seen our announcement trailer in the Xbox and Bethesda June Showcase, which we hope you like. Today, we'd like to take a deep dive into Elevan's main mechanic, the Shadow Merge. The origin of this mechanic came from our passion for stealth games since we were kids. Traditionally, they all have used shadows to make you less visible, so we thought, what if you could literally merge with them? We took a whole different game as reference, Splatoon, and after testing how it was to move through the shadows in a similar way they do with the ink, we immediately realized the huge amount of possibilities this opened. A big one is that when you are inside the shadows, you are totally undetectable. This allows you to smoothly advance under the enemy's feet, suddenly appear behind their backs if you choose to play lethal, or conveniently disappear right in front too of their noses if you are in danger. Way too far. As long as you are not C flashed by a light myself, or stay too much time merging, the shadows have your back. Apart from that, the shadow merge also means a big advantage in terms of mobility. For example, wherever there are shadows, you can climb walls and reach high and otherwise inaccessible places. Or you can use moving objects, or even the moving shadows to navigate from one place to the other. Or you can go through small spaces, ignoring fences, bars or gratings. Or you can jump from high places and smoothly land in a shadow, completely safe and silent. As you see, the shadow merge is very versatile, so it's up to you to discover and combine all its possibilities. And that's only for the base mechanic, as during your adventure you will learn upgrades and completely new shadow powers. But well, that's a whole new topic for another time. Erevan Shadow Legacy will be available on 2023 on Steam, but you can already wishlist it if you liked what we showed you today. Besides, we partner with Xbox to bring you the game for Xbox One, Series, and on day one on both PC and Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> oh, also, don't forget to follow us if you don't want to miss any update. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Get out of here with your fucking smile and perfect teeth. They will not Dick. drag me into their light. Jesus. Stealth isn't exactly a god's forte, but... I respect it nonetheless. Wish lists at the ready, because Erebans Shadow Legacy is coming to PC and yeah. Xbox in 2023. Now we're moving from Shadow Powers to a Shadow Drop. Our next reveal is a real nostalgic surprise. Tiger. Thirty bucks. We're pleased to announce that the English translation of Wizardry: The Five Ordeals is out now on Steam. Is that a Japanese game? Reply Game Studios Solstice is right around the corner. And the development team have a surprise to tide fans over until its release. Wasn't there something about this game that sucked? Did the demo suck or something? Something about that game had a negative aspect about it. It looks We're stiff. pleased to announce that the demo for Solstice is available right now, with the full game coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on <laughs> September 20th. Now it's time to see some exclusive gameplay from After Image, a mystical, 
hand-drawn Metroidvania. Product not yet rated. After Image is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch in Q4 <clears throat> 2022. Does anyone know how long we this debuted is supposed to this be? next game during our spring showcase earlier this year? But we're proud to reveal more details about the player's exciting mission in Deliver Us Mars. Peggy 12. For 12 what the hell happened here? <laughs> This is Kathy. Please come in. Mission Opera has only one objective. Bring the Arcs and their revolutionary technology back home. What do you expect to find on Mars? I'll see you soon, Olga. Kathy, why did you want to come on this mission so badly? T minus two minutes to cruise stage separation. Everybody copy? Copy. 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 Starting burn. We are in loss of control. I know I can do this. How does it come to this? Having good intentions isn't hard, Kathy. The hard part is knowing the difference between what's right and what's wrong. We have to leave. I will not risk the success of this mission. How do you stay strong through all of that? How do you stay? Dad! Good. Yeah, that game looks, uh, I'd give it a 10. 10 chaos is what I would give that one. Deliver Us Mars is coming soon to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. This next game was revealed during opening night live last night, but we've got an in-depth look at the Slavic-inspired slasher platformer Phantom Hellcat. Let's check it out. That's a fun word to say, Slavic. Hi, my name is Armand Lenda, and I'm the creative director and co-founder oh, of Iron the cat Bird was talking Studios. for a second. <laughs> Today, I'd like to show you our newest <laughs> unique project, Phantom Hellcat. An old-school, western-style slasher game. This game became our ultimate goal, pride and dream. It's a love letter to the generation of games full of giant enemy crafts and armies with more than one million troops. We will take you to the Golden Age of Slashers, got some cool statues which defined the, the console left. gaming experience years ago. Oh, I'm ago. getting a statue Please today. I forgot to say that. And enjoy oh, the rest of the show. You gotta pump it up, you gotta pump it up. Dude, it's been in my head for like 48 hours to be Tenchu, and I'm fucking pissed. Get it out of my head. Thought you were done buying statues. I am. This one's from like uh, two years ago or a year ago when I pre-ordered it. <clears throat> Any statue that shows up now is a pre-order. Phantom from a while Hellcat back. is coming soon. All right, let's mix things up with another surprise. It's time for our next world premiere.
big sigh. <laughs> Fuck you, Dark Arrows. You fucking son of a bitch. Probably should stop uh, going into that cave. Yeah, is this like some sort of darkest dungeon game? I'd call it deepest cavern. Uh, that guy better take that image to court. <clears throat> Edge of Sanity is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo oh, no, Switch in 2023. I don't even know what that means. What does Our that next mean? Did I stab all from my, my friends, friends at in the Wired head? Productions, who have some news well, about three of their exciting upcoming games. Because if so, you're right. <laughs> that looks like a character lyric would create. At Younger, we are all family. A family with this one the last common goal. Customer satisfaction. As the old saying goes, you can't choose your family. Except here at Yungle, we choose. Be the horse that wins the race. Be the kitten that gets the milk. Be the sperm that gets the egg. Yeah. Don't let me down. I would hate to replace you. The cycle begins anew. A new refuge. A haven. A bastion from which to rebuild. But this time we will succeed. What? We will build higher. We will build stronger. We will dream a new cool. world. This looks fucking cool. That looks good. Thanks to the team at Wired Productions for those two what? world premieres and for revealing that louder? The Last Worker is coming to PC on October 19th. A lot to look forward to. 
Next up is our Ones to Watch segment, which features several exciting upcoming games. Must be getting close to the end because the montage is here. That was our ones to watch montage. Make sure to wish list anything that piqued your interest. It's hard to believe that there That's are any dark. world premieres left, but damn it, we've got one more for you. <laughs> Don't say we don't treat you here at the Future Game Show. Peggy 16. It would take but a single act to spark a war, the likes of which humanity had never known. Are they assassinating uh, old Franz Ferdinand right there? Countless millions would now fight to hold the line. How was this show compared to the last night? Measured one? In eh. The stage set for the greatest stalemate in human history. Their lives and the fate of an entire continent. Now in your hands. That didn't look that great. The Great War Western Front is coming to PC in 2023. Next, we've got a new trailer for Backfire Wall, a tragic comic adventure set inside of a smartphone. Look, I'm, I'm just reading what's typed here. That Hello that there, outlandish. I'm OS9. I'm the operating system of this phone. I kind of run things around here. Hello, and welcome to the update protocol. Uh, what was that? The update will now be installed. Oh, shift! Not the update protocol. Congratulations. The cache will be cleared out. Uh... Congratulations. New one bits and zero bits will be put in their proper order. Are you joking? You're not even programmed to give me a good conversation. The system is considered a very dangerous place. What? An update assistant will always make the right choice. No, 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 no. I, listen, listen to me. I understand you're confused, but this is really not the solution. If the system is not updated, the user will destroy... Would you just shut up? It's okay, buddy. We're, we're handling this. It's time to put it news you're great at finding another way in skills. Yeah. Please get us out of here. A demo for Backfire Wall is available now on Steam, and the game is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch in 2022. Now it's time for our friends at Team 17 to take the stage. Let's NFTs, see what they've got yeah. to show us. 
Let's fucking go. Peggy 18. Talk to me about some fungible tokens, baby. Why isn't that glass breaking? You gotta pump it up, you gotta pump it. Fucking Christ. Guys, all I'm saying is I've been up four hours and I've run two maps today. All right, the hours the maps run is real fucking low. Thanks to Team 17 for providing us with a closer Paper look Mario at all like. of those oh, upcoming games. Right. Oh, at this point, your wish lists are going to need wish lists. Check out more details on GamesRadar.com. Next up, we've got a gameplay trailer for an immersive horror simulator powered by unexplainable phenomena. Since the beginning of civilization, the world has been full of unknown things. Anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know where they come from, or what their purpose is. It's because of this that we founded the SCP Foundation. Oh, fuck, it's an SCP an organization game. Dedicated to containing My anomalous must items, be losing their mind individuals, with how many videos and phenomena. Wait. We secure. We contain. We protect. Isn't this just control? SCP Secret Files is coming soon. Okay, earlier I may have told a little white lie when I said there was only one more world premiere. Because I'm looking down at my script right now and I'm actually seeing another... One, two, three, four, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, let's just say one for now. Wow. I like the idea of that world. Oh, this song seems like a banger. What if they just break into la 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 Fucking Geralt shows up. Teslagrod? You've got to love it when a beloved game gets a worthy follow up. Teslagrad 2 is coming to PC, oh, PlayStation, that's a two Xbox, in the, I thought that and was Nintendo a fucking Switch snake or some shit. Speaking of follow ups, we've got an update from Supermassive Games on the next entry in the Dark Pictures anthology. Peggy 18. Who do you guys think is like the go to? Where the hell are we? For world premieres. Like, if you want to get your trailer out there, is Keeley, is the Keeley verse who you, like, here. go to the most? What the hell is that? We're trapped. What do we do? Is this a good So idea? does that mean that we're, like, watching... I don't see any other options. ...all the, like, people that couldn't get into a Keeley show? And now it's getting scary. Isn't this stuff? This is beyond messed up. Over here. Isn't this the one about the serial killer or whatever? It's a puzzle. A riddle of some sort. Tricks and traps. It's playing games. That's no love. It's probably just cost the deadlines. That might be it too. What was that? I can't handle much more of this. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. You okay? Not even close. Hey! He wants to choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. We don't do something, both of them will die. We have to choose. No! Ah! Chad, this was the real serial killer, by the way. He was one of the world's first serial killers. He had a hotel. And we don't actually know how many people uh, he ended up killing. Some say it was like 200. That was the Dark Pictures anthology, The Devil in Me. Which we now know is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on November 18th, 2022. What defines Next a serial up, killer? The team at Cortez Productions cereal, have sent a us a gameplay trailer for their atmospheric horror game, EXP War Drama. Oh, three or more is what defines someone as a serial killer? I mean, this would be a pretty terrifying experience to be in a trench in World War One. You know? Help me, Krieger. What? Who's there? Don't you remember me, Krieger? That thing represents everything we felt here. I know it is not human. At least, it wasn't meant to be. Why are you walking on <laughs> the <laughs> this fucking 
face. How am I here again? I think I could make a pretty... <laughs> I think I could make like a scary game that would do well on Steam. We're pleased to I couldn't reveal code that a demo but, for EXP. But I think I could like tell someone an idea Steam for a scary right game and it would do with well. The full game coming soon. Now it's time to check in with Ruth, How you play test it though? Apocalyptic survival game developed in I'm Unreal that confident. Engine 5. Your attention please. This is a state emergency announcement. The Rotor Laboratory on behalf of the government assures that none of the bacteriological you gotta pump it are up, you gotta I quote, there are no <laughs> risks of any kind. You are safe in your house. Do not attempt leaving the city using transportation services. Food resupply is allowed once a week for each citizen. Please use the dedicated smartphone app to register yourself and check stocks. You can proceed to go to work, school, and shops around your block. It is crucial to have your ID card with you at all times in case of control. I really hope that guy isn't the last of us. Thanks to Headlight Studios for the closer look at Rooted, which is coming soon to PC. And here's a gameplay trailer for Hellsweeper VR, a new roguelike combat game from the creators of Sirento VR. What? Looks gorgeous. Hellsweeper VR is coming soon to Steam VR and MetaQuest 2. Our next game is Stray Blade, where players explore an ancient world with their trusty wolf companion, Boy. I mean, Boji. Boy, that joke never gets old. Forge! With a blueprint, I should at least be able to craft something better than a rusty sword. Ugh. 
This could be useful. Time to forge. What? <clears throat> oh, this looks bad. Boji, I found something. With feeling? I can't wait to try this. this small hey, collection. Barry, you here? I think I found my style with this one. Oh my. You want to know what this is, right? Well, this behind me is an arcane forge. It was used by the LSM to create the most powerful weapons, armor, and more. Stray Blade is coming to PC, Xbox, and PlayStation in 2023. It's time for an update from Blackbird Interactive How on what's long coming is this to Crossfire Legion Holy later this shit. year. Welcome to Crossfire Legion, Commander. We are delighted by the community feedback in the last three months of early access. Two large updates have been released, and we have more in the works. By the end of this video, the latest update, 1.3, will have been released. Three new units are joining the game, completing the roster with a total of 57 different units for you to play. How the fuck is this game We're balanced? releasing the new refinery map for the high-intensity mode, Payload. This will open up eight different maps for you to fight your foes on. We are also releasing the third act to the campaign. Bungle it's here Bungle we Bungle establish Bungle. New Horizon and why this faction is hellbent on world domination. With this, we will be delivering hours of intense campaign action with more to come. And for the first time, we are releasing a new level editor, giving you the tools to unleash your imagination and create new content for the community. And this is only the beginning, Commander. We have new modes planned, extra maps for you to fight on, new units to complete your strategy, more co-op modes to play with friends, and entirely new missions for our campaigns coming in the next few months. There's no time to hesitate, Commander. We want you to join us to help shape the game. Update 1.3 is available now, and for a limited period, you can get Crossfire Legion with 34% off. Crossfire Legion is available on PC, and the August update is coming very, very soon. We've had a lot of fun tonight, but let me tell you what's not fun, Danielle. Lies. Oh, is there another world premiere? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, the good news is that we've got something electric lined up. Roll the clip. Wise, I think it looks kind of dog shit, but I like the idea. I've been playing Step Mania for about 10 years on my keyboard for this. 
I'm fucking ready. Anyone wants the one-on-one -on -one in God of Rock? Oh, they're going to make a God of War reference. Here we go. Bust out your loots because God of Rock is coming soon to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Now, let's take a trip to the galaxy's <gasps> edge to get a closer look at gameplay from mech farming adventure Lightyear Frontier. Hi, I'm Sebastian, and I'm the community manager for Lightyear Frontier. We're excited to share our first ever look at the early gameplay of Lightyear Frontier. Oh, I and actually was excited for this game. In Lightyear Frontier, you'll be starting a new home on a distant planet as an exoformer. Your mech comes equipped with all the tools you need, so put them to good use. After you get on your feet, start your first crop by planting seeds and watering them. You'll be able to sell them at the merchant for more materials, or to use in crafting. Balance your use of resources to create a sustainable home. Research and build the first structures of your homestead. Relax every once in a while, and appreciate the fruits of your labor. Build a homestead, grow crops, and explore your new surroundings. You'll need to collect materials from the environment around you to start. Along the way, Take time and enjoy the beauty of your new home in all its vivid and mysterious splendor. The planet is full of beautiful and expansive environments. Be sure to take in the scenery. When night falls, it's time to hit the hay and get rested for another day. Light Your Frontier releases in spring 2023. Take care of nature and it'll take care of you. That's all for now. Light Your Frontier is coming to PC and Xbox in spring 2023. Okay, before we get into our next game, I just need to check something. Shodan? Are you with us? Mic check on Shodan. Peggy 18. Humans interfa interfacing with computers, computers. For, for, for their own entertainment. The very notion disgusts me. Look upon my works, foul creatures. And weep at its magnificence. It is a beautiful day on Citadel Station. Citadel. Humanity is on. is on the verge of a new era. I, Shodan, am its new god. Look at you, hacker. A pathetic <laughs> creature of meat and bone. How can you challenge Hackers a got a different uh, connotation machine? You are an insect. You are nothing. I create. I iterate. I fuse flesh and steel into perfection. My children, Hacker, their blood is on your hands. You will suffer for so this your game's really scary, right? Transgressions. These are my uh, 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 avenging angels, and they will have retribution. I don't know if it would be scary these days. System Shock is coming soon to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. You know, Danielle, horror games are a lot like onions. What, you mean like they make you cry? Well, yes, but also they have layers. Or at least Bloober Team thinks so. You're such a softie. What?
Peggy 16. Is this Layers of Fear 6 or whatever? My very first memory is that of hitting a piano key. Pure joy at the immediate response to my action. And then a surge of power as I realized that the piano would do what I wanted it to. What is left of it now? Now I see it. <laughs> I will never be like one of his paintings. <laughs> piano got angry that I just kept pressing its keys. But I can make the paintings be like me. It didn't want its Scarred, keys pushed anymore. Broken, hidden from the world, imprisoned in this house. I know what must be done. I want out. No. That was your first look at gameplay from Layers of Fears, which is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox in 2023. <sighs> wow. What a show it's been. And you only said boy... Wait. One, two... Three times. Oh, I know. Took a lot of restraint. Look, I'll be honest. I'm feeling a bit unresolved. Like, maybe there's more to come. I feel that too. Also, it's uh, written in the script. The one more thing. Ah. This is a cinematic sneak peek from the upcoming cyberpunk shooter, Off the Grid, which arrives from the visionary mind of District 9's Neil Blumkamp. Sake in Ireland looking for money. I came here to escape. Hey, Grant! Snap up! Grant! Are you awake? You hear me? Yeah, I fucking heard you. Three vehicles up ahead. Previous team oh. put down by mine. They got our loot. And that is a sweet arm. Keep your eyes on the target, Slick! Oh, I am. <laughs> you gotta get out of here. Shit! Here they go! Storm! Take him out! Grant, you're with me!
What are you gonna do to us? No! Stay in the vehicle! Get out of here! No! Flying her once I'm out alive. I can't let these butchers have them. Yeah, agreed. Against that call, <laughs> they hit the fuel. It's real fucking Part stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. That game. What a show stuff. That game is never coming out. And literally. Because that. We're marks never going to see that game. You're never playing that game, Don't Chad. forget, you can try out all of the demos on our future game show Steam page. And you can head on over to gamesradar.com to read follow-up coverage on all of the games shown today. A massive thank you to everyone involved in making this show possible. Our sponsors, Mana, and of course, all of our friends at home for tuning in. You know, we didn't see a Mana ad. Judge. And I'm Danielle Basidi. And this, this has, has been, been the Future, future Game, game show, show at Gamescom, Gamescom 2022. 2022. <laughs> to see JP play it. That game's never coming out. Maybe they were oom. Nice. Mana is the gaming rewards debit card that go. puts the power back in the hands of players. So with every quest you complete and every purchase you make, you're earning for the rewards you actually want. We make it easy for you to set up and start. Just sync your favorite games to your Mana account and start earning real life rewards the next time you play. So why pay any other way? Pay with Mana. Plan, pay with power. Mana. Game the system. I'm like actually too disinterested to even wrap this video up for YouTube.